All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use the Microsoft Swift key app to create clipboard shortcuts. So with clipboard shortcuts, you'll be able to create like texts of things that people always ask you for. So maybe it's your phone number, your email, or maybe a link to one of your profiles online, maybe your YouTube channel, whatever it is, you can have like a shortcut of giving them that link or that text so that you don't always have to type the text whenever people ask for it. So let me just show you how it works. All right, so I'm going to open the app and then if you're following along, all you need to do is head over to reach input and then you tap clipboard. So over here it says add a new clip. So for this, I'm going to be using my email. So I'm going to enter my email address now. So this is the email address, click and tap x at gmail.com. So over here it says shortcuts. This is where you're going to enter some letters or characters that will trigger this to show up so that you can easily tap on it and you can send it to people. So for example, I'm going to enter em as a shortcut and then I'll tap save. All right, so let's say you're having a conversation online with someone that someone being me right now and the person asks for your email address now for me i've saved the email address as a shortcut in swift key so if i just tap on the text instead of typing the whole email address i can either tap here and then i'm going to see the email but if you have several clipboards you just need to use the shortcut so if i type typing and i type em you see over here it shows me the email address so I can just tap here and it's going to enter the email address for me so it has easily created a shortcut for me so that's basically how it works you can create as many as you want I don't know if there's a limit but uh, the good part is that um, as you are creating them if you are signed into your Microsoft account then they are going to be synced to your account you can use them on any phone if you have several devices that have the Swift key app then all of them are going to have the clipboards that you create on any device. All right, so that's basically how you do it. Hopefully it was clear. If it was, please let me know in the comments or you can just give me a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.